Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is power of 2. So it's a very easy problem. Uh, in this problem, we'll be given an integer and we need to return true if it is a power of 2. Otherwise, return false. Power of 2 means that this number n can be represented as 2 raised to power x where, is x, where x is some integer. So n can be uh, n is a power of 2. So if we see, if n is 1, then output will be true because we can represent 1 as 2 raised to power 0. If n is 16, then it is also the output is true because 16 is 2 raised to power 4. But when we have n 3, so n is not, uh, 3 is not a power of 2. So we will uh, return false. So there are many ways of, uh, up, uh, there are many approaches for this problem. So we'll see few of the approaches. So first of all, let's say we have n as 16. So uh, power of 2 will be even all, always. And c 16 can be represented at, as 2 raised to power 4. So what we can do is every time we can divide 16 by 2, we'll get 8. We divide 8 by 2, we get 4. We divide 4 by 2, we get 2 again. And we divide 2 by 2, we get 1. So, if if the number is a power of 2, whenever we divide, uh, like we will divide it by 2 and ultimately we will get 1. So, if you try doing this with, let's say we have 17. If you divide it by 2, 2, 2. At the end you will not get 1. So if a number is power of 2, if you divide it by 2 every time, you will get 1 at the end. So this is one approach. Let's see the code for this. So if you see, if the number is 0, obviously it's not a power of 2, so just return false. Otherwise what we can do is, we can run a while loop until n is not equal to 1. And divide it by every time by 2. And at a point of time, if the number, if the n is not divisible by 2, means it is a odd number, hence it will, uh, we can return false. Otherwise, just keep on dividing it by 2. And once this loop is finished, means n has become equal to 1. So we can return true at the end. So this is one approach. So time complexity for this approach is O, is o of n log n. Uh, sorry, so of log n, uh, log 2 base 2 n, because every time we are dividing by 2, so the number is becoming half every time. So now let's discuss another approach. Another approach will be a constant time approach, like uh, the time complexity will be O of 1. Let's see how. So see, like if we have 16, this 16, if we do a log of this 16, like log 2 base 2 16, so now if we we know that the answer for this will be uh, log 16 divided by log 2 so this will be some way, uh, log 2 raised to power 4 and this will be log 2 raised to power 1 hence it will come out to be 4 right so it, it will be an integer now if we calculate floor of this number which of the result which we get from this that is 4 and if we calculate seal of this number 4, the result, these will be equal. These will be equal only, only, and only if this was a complete, like it was, if this was uh, 4, right? If it had been a decimal, let's say 4 point something, like 4.5, then floor will be different. Floor will be 4. If the, uh, if here it's 4.5, then floor will, uh, will be 4 and seal will be 5. Say hence they will not be different. So this uh, we can uh, use this thing to check whether this 16 is a power of 2 or not. If here it would have been 17 then this answer here will be some uh, something in decimals. So if this is in decimals then floor and seal will never be same. Right. So this way we can check and this will be O of 1 time complexity. So let's check this also. So this is like seal of log to base 2 and we are doing and checking the floor also. So if they are equal means it is a power of 2. So if we submit this, it's getting submitted. 
so this was one approach so if we submit this this is one approach and one more approach uh, which we can see is let's say we have uh, we, let's take 16 only uh, or let's say we have four let's take a smaller number we have four now we know that four will be a power of two only if it has only one in its binary representation like that what that what does that mean so let's say four uh, four's binary representation is this much so now uh, a number who is power of two will have only one obviously in its binary representation only one one so we can check how many set bits are there one is the set bit zero is the unset bit so we can count count how many set bits are there in the binary representation of four and if the number of set bits if the count of the set bits is equal to one hence it's a power of two hence it's a power of two so if you see like if you say 32 32 is 2 raised to power 5 and it all uh, if you re if you see the binary representation of 32 it also has one one in its binary representation hence it's a power of 2 so if you want to count the bin uh, count the set bits in a uh, binary representation of a number there is an algorithm called Carnegie's algorithm you can so uh, you can first of all learn that algorithm using that you can find out how many count set uh, how many set bits are there and once you know the number of set bits you can check if the set, uh, count of set bits is one hence this number is a power of two so this is one approach one more approach which we can also use uh, in that also we'll be doing bit manipulation so let's say we have four so the binary representation of 4 is 0 1 0 0 and let's say we take this is if this is n we will also take n minus 1 is binary representation so that will be 4 minus 1 3 so 3 is binary representation is 0 0 1 1 so now if you do and if you do and of these what we will get we will get 0 0 0 means all zero is we'll get so this is also an approach you can use that if you need to check let's say you need to check 16 is a power of 2 or not you will see the binary representation of 16 and you will calc uh, you will see uh, you will see the binary representation of 15 take and of both and if you get 0 as a result it means that 16 is a power of 2 16 is a power of 2 uh, that means if we write it like this uh let's say uh, n we n and we need to do n minus 1 so if this is if this comes out to be 0 0 means false so if this is true means what we'll do is see this this we'll get as 0 so if 0 not of 0 means 1 hence true so if this is true means this 4 is a power of 2 in order to uh, like understand more let's take another example let's say we have 6 so binary representation of 6 is 0 1 0 and if we take uh, this is n so n minus 1 will be 5 so 5's binary representation will be 0 1 0 1 so if you do and of these you will not get 0 you will get this will be 0 this will be 0 this will be 1 and this will be 0 so you you are not getting 0 in this case so if you are not getting 0, this means that 6 is not a power of 2. 6 is not a power of 2. So this approach also we can use. So this is also O of uh, 1 uh, time complexity. So see, uh, we can use this also. So if n is greater than 0 and if this thing is true, means n is a power of 2. If you submit this, it's also getting accepted. So we discussed four approaches in this uh, video. So I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.